Understanding why customers are leaving is one thing, but understanding the rate at which they're leaving is just as important. That's why finding out your customer churn rate is important. We are moments and we'll quickly explain what customer churn is, the formula and the steps on how to properly figure it out. So let's get into it. First, what is customer churn? Customer churn refers to the rate at which your business loses customers. This number is quite easy to calculate. Customer churn is an incredibly important metric to look at since it's more expensive to acquire a new customer than it is to retain one. Add that to the fact that every time you lose a customer, you're also losing out on future recurring revenue. You should take the time to understand why customers are leaving so you can make improvements to prevent even more customers from leaving. One way to understand why customers are leaving is to have a customer feedback strategy. The customer churn rate formula. The customer churn rate formula is quite simple. Before you calculate it, you'll need to determine the time period you want to calculate. While well, you calculate for the month, quarterly, or for the year. You'll also need two numbers, lost customers and total customers at the start of the period. The churn rate formula is the following. Lost customers divided by total customers at the start of time period multiplied by 100. For example, let's say at the beginning of the month, your business had 1,000 customers. By the end of the month, out of those 1,000 customers, 50 of them left your business. That would represent a 5% customer churn of the month. Here are the steps to calculate your churn rate. You should calculate your customer churn rate every so often to make sure everything is running smoothly. You can calculate it to compare your previous churn rates. For example, January 2020 to March 2020 compared to January 2021 to March 2021. Here's how to calculate customer churn rate in five steps. Determine which time period you want to calculate for monthly, quarterly, or annual. Find out how many customers you had at the beginning of the period. Find out how many customers left during that period. Once you have both numbers, divide the number of lost customers by the total number of customers. Times that number by 100. So what's a good churn rate? In a perfect world, you want zero customers leaving. However, you obviously can't satisfy every customer, but you can do your best to keep the majority of your customers happy. The lower the churn rate, the better. Depending on what industry you're in, the average churn rate will vary. Here are some examples of reported churn rates of bigger companies. You generally want to have a customer churn rate between 2% and 8%. The lower your churn rate, the higher your recurring revenue will be. When you calculate your churn rate, you can take the necessary steps to improve your business and product. If you notice that your churn rate is on the high side, figure out why. Is it your customer service? Does your competitor have a better product? Whatever it is, understand what you can do to lower your churn rate. Thanks for watching our video and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on all things customer service.